Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Jack Ram here, Realtor with Simply Vegas, showing you today the floor plan 2126 built by Century Communities. <music> We are up in the northwest side of Las Vegas Valley, uh, to be specific, in Sky Canyon. This is going to be a beautiful floor plan starting at $478,000, and I'm going to talk about all the details in a second once we get into the house. As we can see around us here, we have uh, beautiful mountain views from the north side over there. We are uh, up on the northwest side of Las Vegas Valley. Uh, the master plan community is uh, Sky Canyon. We have an HOA fee of a total of $133 per month. And then we have um, a lot premiums ranging anywhere between three to $25,000. We are about 25 minutes away uh, drive by taking Kyle Canyon right up here, all the way up to Mount Charleston. And then if you want to go to the strip, for example, uh, you would go down uh, the 95 freeway uh, and that would take you to the strip in about 25 minutes as well so really great location beautiful master plan community very family friendly uh, with uh, lots of parks activities for kids and all and also an outdoorsy feel uh, to the area uh, this uh, specific floor plan as i said is 2126 square feet we have uh, three bedrooms optional we can get a fourth bedroom upstairs uh, with two and a half bathrooms and then we have a loft and a two-car garage. As we go in, uh, $478,000 will give us quite some uh, options, including the base price. And we're going to cover all of those for you guys, so you are educated when you're purchasing this home. As we walk in, we have uh, this, uh, this area right here, which is optional, could be open to above. And we can go over all those options together once we get up there or you can uh, extend a loft or bedroom and make this a full bedroom or a full loft for the fourth bedroom and we're going to cover that together but look at this let's go inside and show you a little bit we have our pile room as soon as we walk in to the left with a huge open floor plan i mean they really maximize maximized here uh, the amount of square footage downstairs to have a very open feel to this uh, to this home look at that very spacious living room. For 2,100 square feet, that's difficult to achieve. Kitchen, amazing. Plenty of cabinets. We have a good sized dining room as well. And then you have your garage access right there. Okay. But yeah, really impressed so far with this floor plan. Um, have upgraded a sliding door here, going out to the backyard, which we're gonna go out in a second and check it out and see what you get including the base price. So, 478,000. Lot premiums are ranging anywhere between 3,000 all the way up to 25,000, depending on the size of the lot that you're getting. As you walk in, you have, uh, this front door <clears throat> is a little bit upgraded, um, but we do have, including the base price, eight foot front door tall. Uh, this community also offers uh, nine foot ceilings, both on the first floor and the second floor. Uh, included in the base press as well. We do get a 17 by 17 tile only in the wet areas. So that would be here at the entrance, your bathrooms, your kitchen. So it will be up to just right there and cut off. It will be all tile 17 by 17 ceramic tile. Everywhere else, dining room, living room, all the hallways, your stairs, the bedrooms upstairs, all gonna be carpets, okay? Uh, including the base price also, we do have 36 inch cabinets. Now these are 42 inch cabinets and it has a three inch crown molding on top as well. But included, it comes with a three inch crown molding, but it'll be a 36 inch high cabinets, okay? Which is a little bit different. The upgrade for that to get the 42 inch like you see here in the model home, it's about, it's actually $1,120. Now these prices that I'm gonna mention today are gonna be subject to change, okay? This is what the builder is 
doing if you were to go in right now at the time of this video but again prices are, are subject to change you know the trades that they hire are different every time so it could be it could be a different price when you go and buy or maybe similar anyway uh we do have i mean i love this floor plan i love how big and open this feels nine foot ceilings you cannot upgrade to a 10 foot ceiling in this neighborhood um just because they don't have that option for these two stories as far as the cabinets goes this is an upgraded cabinet it comes with a maple finish cabinet now this is more of a gray with a tone of beige an undertone of beige in it uh, which gives a little bit more warmth to it which i do prefer uh, personally uh, the hardware pool that's an upgrade this is going to be about a thousand dollars to add this uh, this hardware uh, the, as far as the included countertop right here it comes with this countertop right here okay uh, it's going to be one of the two included options uh, and then throughout the video i can show you even the other one or you can check out my uh, design center uh, website where i go through all the options at the design center and then over here we have an extension also of the cabinets going all the way down there now this extension costs four thousand eight hundred dollars it will give you all these extra cabinets so you see that little corner right there that's where it would normally end the countertop and then you have a little bit more dining room if you don't get these cabinets or uh you can uh you can upgrade these uh these cabinets right here and add them i personally like it gives you a little bit more storage room although it's not really needed because you do have plenty of cabinets in this kitchen but it is nice uh it does give it a nice look um but yeah four thousand eight hundred dollars that would give you the countertop and the cabinets underneath okay then if you upgrade the cabinets right here this cabinet uh you know uh, style right here is going to run you anywhere between five to six thousand dollars it does not come with a soft close however in this model they did add the soft close uh for uh, i think it's going to cost you for this one about two thousand five hundred dollars for the soft close it would also give you the ductile finish on your cabinet drawers as you can see right here this is what's called the ductile finish which is all real wood okay wood month cabinetry okay is the the brand and then uh it is way more resistant and it gives you different rails right here so you can do the soft close and when you close it should should close <laughs> there we go once it once it goes close enough it starts closing and the same thing on all the other cabinets all right that's the difference between the regular cabinets and the soft close it really gives a different uh you know feel when you close them and also uh i mean if you see those uh other cabinets that they have at the design center they're stapled here on the side uh, you know really flimsy not the same ca uh, quality cabinet that you get in this one okay as far as the appliance packages this is the upgraded appliance package for this one it costs six thousand one hundred dollars unfortunately they discontinued the option to have the canopy hood which is a bummer at least for the time being okay eventually they might oh you know give it in the future but it is six thousand one hundred to have this appliance package it's whirlpool you have the five burner cooktop right here and then underneath you have the built-in oven as well otherwise you get a freestanding um you know the, the push-in stove range right uh with the four cook uh burner cooks on top okay and then you have a uh, microwave micro hood on top but yeah i love this floor plan i mean that fireplace is amazing now as a matter of fact that fireplace costs um to get that one which is a 78 inches fireplace is going to run you around seven thousand five hundred to eight thousand dollars that will not come with the stone around it that's something that you do at the design center if you want to upgrade it if you want also a smaller one they have an option that is three thousand five hundred dollars uh, which would be the regular uh 42 48 inch uh fireplace about this big if you want to go gas that's going to cost you more the 48 inch gas is going to run you ten thousand dollars if you want the 78 inch gas like this one it's going to be sixteen thousand dollars that's because there's a lot more uh you know gas lines that they have to put in also the cost of the the fireplace itself is different all right let's try to speed it up a little bit we have a lot to cover here refrigerator this is two thousand six hundred fifty dollars at their um if you buy it through their uh, you know century uh, design center probably not worth it in my opinion you can get one of these at uh, you know 
Lowe's or Home Depot for about $1,500. Uh, we have a nice uh, built-in uh, you know, bench right here, which is an option at Design Center. Not sure how much this will cost. You can also get just the cabinets to make it a drop-off zone, or you can make it like this to make it a nice mud area. Uh, as we walk in uh, from the garage over here, which is a two-car garage, now it's the office, I can't show you. We do have a beautiful size pantry. Now it comes with a regular door, not with a glass door like you see it. Although some people would argue that, you know, they would not want the glass door to showcase the mess that is in it. Um, but regardless, you can upgrade that at the design center for about 500 to $800. If you go here, you know, plenty of room here. That's the shelves are included and all of that. As far as the baseboard, uh, this is uh, something that frustrates me because in these model homes, they are uh, putting in these uh, upgraded baseboards, which are four and a half inches. Uh, the included option is three and a half inch baseboard. And that's the only one that they're offering to buyers, unfortunately, because they have issues with their supply chains. A uh, backsplash is not included. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, hardware is about uh, is about a thousand dollars extra, and then uh, we talked about the flooring included. If you want something like this throughout the uh, the first floor, it's going to run you approximately eleven to twelve thousand dollars for this specific tile. Okay, and this is from me going to the de design center with uh, my clients uh, that have purchased uh, before this uh, this floor plan. That can give you like an accurate, you know, guesstimate on this. You know, not going to be exactly the same, but you know what I mean. As far as the outside, we do have this uh, upgraded sliding door. This is going to run you uh, $10,000. Uh, sorry, I, I think it's a little bit more than $10,000. I need to look it up. Um, it is actually, it is a 10 foot wide door. However, the price for that one is $7,650. Okay, so it's, it's an improvement from what I said. $7,650 to get the 10 foot sliding door. That's not a bad price. Um, as we go outside, we'll find our cover patio, which is not included in the base price. Now this is, and I'll go and tour, we're going, we can go and, uh, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard, hard time with this door. Okay. I should probably adjust it a little bit. Um, but this cover patio right here, I mean, this is a corner lot. It's going to have a lot more square footage as you can see it. They also have a view fencing. I believe this is going to be removed once they finish the community although no actually they might leave this one which is nice it's going to oversee this uh, neighborhood some uh, park area right here so you have a lot of uh, green area also uh, right here in the front but then on the side of this community right here right between the two um, you know communities of I century this is going to be a big park right here so great great spot for you know, families and kids and all that stuff um, beautiful size lot. This is going to be, let's say, a twenty-five thousand lot, uh, twenty-five thousand dollar lot, because it does have this corner uh, lot option with a lot extra side uh, room. Otherwise, the regular lot is going to be probably about, you know, the the fence to the back will be somewhere around here, and it'll close off right here where you see this extra, probably right here, about five feet from the wall of the house, and then you have your neighbor right next to you. Okay. If you and that would be the regular you know three thousand um, dollars lot as we go uh, we see outside this is the built-in cover patio option this is the a option which would be just the side underneath uh you know half of the house if you get the a and b option it would extend this one all the way out here now the a option by itself is ten thousand dollars you get both of them for about eighteen thousand dollars if you want you can get the aluma wood cover patio finish so it'll be with the regular aluma wood which will be something like that okay that's exactly the material it's just going to be connected to a house and it's going to be six thousand dollars approximately for the a option or for everything all the way down it's going to be uh, approximately uh, ten thousand dollars and sorry uh, the prices for this is ten thousand for this one only I think it's uh, up to eighteen thousand all the way down okay something to consider I personally I don't know what I would do it just depends if I have the budget or not to uh, to upgrade to the built-in cover patio at the end of the day it's, they're both gonna do the same thing uh, but you know some people don't like the aluma wood cover patio because um, you know it, it tends to it tends to be a little bit more uh it, it doesn't feel as sturdy as the, this one and also the looks are a little bit different um maybe the noise also when it rains that one time that it rains every six months will make a little bit more uh rain noise but you know <laughs> 
to me, I kind of prefer it. But anyway, I'll leave that to you guys to decide. Uh, we talked about the downstairs, and I think I'm dragging this video out too much for you guys, giving too much information. I hope you guys don't hang up, you know, and just watch someone else's video. Because, uh, you know, I try to give value to all of the customers that I'm trying to help. So, if you guys are one of those customers and you need a realtor that is experienced with new construction homes, that knows all the communities out there, that can guide you throughout this process and get you the right house for yourself, okay? And find the right community for you. Explain to you what's going on with this community. Uh, if you need that realtor that knows what the prices are right now out there and what we can get you for this house you know what incentives can we get you for this house if you're looking for that realtor i'm the realtor for you as i am uh, experienced with all these new construction i know i deal with all these sales agents daily so i know exactly what you have to go through to get you the best deal possible because you do want someone to represent you and help you out anyway after that pitch let's get back to the video we have a, an extended option here, extended loft option. This one costs $3,700. Including the base price, you have a regular size loft, which will go somewhere up to here. It will leave you about two thirds of the loft available, or you can still put a couch and a TV, but, this, uh, but it will leave it open to below. So what would happen is when you walk in, the entrance right there is gonna be open right here, all the way to the second floor so you can see the you know the ceiling from the bottom okay and then you would have the uh, loft right here if you want to extend it from here to here that will cost set three thousand seven hundred fifty dollars alternatively you can also get a fourth bedroom option here which would make this a wall all the way to the ceiling right there okay and close this one and close it up all the way until there it will get rid of the loft so you don't have any more loft and then you would have a door to the bedroom that would cost approximately six thousand eight hundred dollars okay for that option for the fourth bedroom i don't know i kind of like the loft but let me know what you guys think owner suite on that side and then over on this side we have the second uh the what's it called the laundry room um hall bathroom for the two bedrooms over here and then these two bedrooms to the side nine foot ceilings on the second floor we do have also eight foot high doors throughout the whole house and that's including the base price all right let's go to this bedroom and see what we have this is a spacious bedroom for you know a secondary bedroom at 2100 square feet that's nice we have right here about 11 12 feet yeah 12 feet on this right plus another 10 feet on this side plus we have a little nook right here coming out for the window so we're looking at about you know 11 by 12 feels pretty roomy here you can put a, a chest right here, a drawer or something. Uh, you can also do what they did here in this model. And then the great part is you have a full walk-in closet. Look how spacious this is. With the window also, that's nice. To get some natural light in, you know. Um, as we walk out to the second bedroom, now I wanna show you something. You see these black, uh, you know, the black trim inside? That means these recess lights are not included. If you want to get something like this, the four recess lights are probably going to run you somewhere around 250 for the first one, which will give you also a, you know, the switch, and then the other four, the other three extra are going to be 150 each. So probably about 600, 650 for each bedroom to make it like this. Okay, the ceiling fan pre-wired is going to be about 300 or 250 or 300 for each, and then, uh, yeah, really good size bedroom. This is like a 12 by 12, 11 by 11, yeah. We'll say 11 by 11. And then over here, full walk-in closet as well. Nice, that's awesome. Yeah, for the square footage, this house feels a little bit bigger. Now, it does have a little bit more square footage because they extended this loft, right? But still, nevertheless, it feels pretty big uh, for, let's say, 2,200 square feet. Now, this uh, bathroom right here, it comes with the uh, included tub that you see right here, tub and shower combo. Oh. And uh, the black trim right here, that's an upgrade. That's gonna cost you around $4,000 when you go to the design center to upgrade all those faucets to the black finish, just like you see it. Now it doesn't just upgrade, upgrade the faucets, uh, it kind of upgrades any kind of trim. You see your, um, your drain spouts right there, you have all your hardware here on the doors, that's all gonna be upgraded. Uh, even your, hand, uh, your towel bars, um, 
any kind of trim if you get a glass door finish here uh, is going to be black as well so it gives that tone to the whole house right same thing with those you see the um, the stair rails are going to be black all the hardware in the house okay uh, if you want the brush nickel finish that's going to be about 2200 or so and then if you want to uh, keep the included one it will be chrome finish for all the hinges over here we have your linen closet pretty spacious and then we have your uh, laundry room on this side now these cabinets are upgraded uh, you know it doesn't come with the with the sink it doesn't come with uh, the laundry cabinets that you see up here and it doesn't come either with this uh, washer and dryer okay you're just gonna get regular um, you know whatever tile is included right which is the 17 by 17 ceramic tile and then you can upgrade to you know you can buy these appliances 3500 is what they're selling them for a design center way overpriced you can get them for cheaper by yourself at Home Depot uh, your sink right here is gonna run you around 1600 or so well about 1100 just for the plumbing to get the plumbing and then you can buy your own cabinets if you want something like this with the with the sink the faucet that's the included faucet and all okay so without upgrading it pretty deep sink though uh, this is gonna run you approximately 22 to 2500 dollars to get old so the cabinet and that then if you want to add this one an extra thousand or so okay so it can start setting up those stair rails right there that's an upgrade also depending on which one you get you can just get the bottom four uh, stair rails which would be those down there that's going to be around 1100 or 1500 if you want to add these ones as well the total is going to be about 3500 or so for the white stair rails the ones with the vertical bars or you can you can have um, uh, you can get something like this for approximately you know five thousand dollars which would be the horizontal bars with the black finish and then whatever this the wood stain finish now going into your owner suite we have a very spacious owner suite we're looking at nice nice size i love it what is it 16 by 16. that's great love it i mean every bedroom in here uh, th this floor plan really surprised me if you just need three bedrooms and a loft and you need something spacious with a nice open floor plan downstairs simple floor plan this is the house for you i uh, definitely this is definitely the house for you and if you don't need the bedroom downstairs they do have another option with a bedroom downstairs as well all right good size closet as well it's spacious double racks love it what it's gonna come with so not bad as we go here into the owner's uh, bathroom we have a uh, uh, you know your water closet over here comes with that door you have a linen closet right there and that's the included shower now it's not gonna come with the black trim as you as you remember that's uh, something that you can upgrade but it does come with this glass door you see here that's the thickness right here which is uh, what is it? 316 of an inch okay then we have right here uh your it's gonna come with a shower pen it's gonna be fiberglass shower pen and then on the walls it comes with culture marble okay uh which is the same material that you'll get on your countertops the sinks are gonna be just like this under mount all right this is in all the bathrooms and you get the culture marble which is a white finish resin base um countertop which is nice it looks simple and you know it does the job and it looks good uh, but you know that's if you want the quartz right here it's going to be an upgrade for probably for these two bathrooms the one upstairs and then you know the secondary bathroom you're probably looking at about two thousand five hundred dollars or two thousand dollars to add this kind of kind of quartz which is the same one that is included in the kitchen and then here they upgraded the tile all the way to the ceiling that's going to cost you three to four grand at least to get this tile and uh, and all the way to the ceiling but uh, if you get the included option it will come still with the fiberglass over here and then here culture marble culture marble on all the walls and it'll stop just below that shower head okay anyway i think that's it guys for today's video uh give you guys a bunch of info hope you guys appreciate it if you don't let me know that in the comments you know um hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already but most important if you need a realtor represent you with buying a home out here reach out to me on my information is down below i would love to earn your business and assist you throughout this transaction thanks for watching see you in the next one